Can you tell us the difference between a $10,000 documentary versus a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, two million? Mm -hmm. What do you get at each price point? Well, at, at ten thousand dollars, you're not going to get a lot. You're not. You you can make a documentary for ten thousand dollars, but you'll have to do either a lot of the crew positions yourself, or have people that will you know volunteer their time to do it for you. So you're going to have to ask for a lot of freebies. But you can do a documentary for ten thousand. You can buy that camera that we're shooting on today for you know three thousand with the lens, uh, thereabouts. And you're going to be able to buy your zoom recorder, and you're going to be able to buy you know, a few lights and what have you. And so you can get in business for probably under under five. And then if you're not traveling and you're just shooting, you know, in your area, then it's, you can, and it's your own gear. You can shoot as many days as you want if you're not hiring crews. So you can do it on $10,000. But at each price point, if you go next, go up to the $100,000 documentary, now you're going to be able to pay people what their normal industry rate is. You know, on a ten thousand dollar documentary, you're not going to bring out a makeup person for between six and eight hundred dollars a day. You just can't do that. You can't buy a full HD crew for thirty five hundred dollars a day rental with sound. So, but at a hundred thousand dollars, you're going to get the full HD crew at their normal rate, about thirty five hundred. That's with sound. That's with lights. That's with if you need a lighting director and his grip, you know, cart. That's seven hundred bucks or to a thousand dollars. You're going to be able to afford that. You're going to be able to afford a gaffer if you need it, just to make everything look better. You're going to be able to afford uh, not maybe needle drop music that's royalty free from a music library. Now you can bring a composer in, not at the highest end, but for fifteen or seventeen thousand dollars maybe. On a hundred thousand, I wouldn't do that. On a two hundred and fifty, I would bring in that that level of composer. But so you're just going to be able to travel a bit if you have interviews across the country you need for your show. You still need to know where to economize. In other words, do you need $100,000? You're not flying your DP, you know, director of photography to New York. You're, you're getting a local crew. And in some cases, you might have to even hire a local stringer director if it's not a huge interview to do the interview for you. Sometimes you direct it over Skype or what have you if you want to be, you know, if you want to be sure. I've done that many times. So you, you, for $100,000, you'll get the travel, you'll get more crew days, more shoot days. You'll be able to buy some clips, some archival footage. You go up next to go up to 500,000, it's more of the same. More prep, more research, more shoot days, more travel. Everybody gets paid industry standards for what they're doing. Um, better music, better graphics, better color grading. So, and on and up. Two million dollars, you can, you can now maybe, if you had a pop song you wanted to buy, very expensive to license music. But you'll have a better original score. You might even buy some some songs. Again, better, more travel, more prep, archival f footage. I've spent on some films over a hundred thousand dollars on clips and and stills, and that's what you're going to get either at a five hundred or a two million dollar price point. You're going to be able to, to go to Getty and say, I need, you know, one hundred eighty eight stills, and they'll make a deal with you. I need, you know, um, forty six minutes of archival footage of this event. You know, I did a movie called Nine Days That Changed the World where Pope John Paul II visits Poland in 1979 and sparks this movement that becomes the Solidarity Movement, which eventually takes down communism in Poland. I needed a lot of archival footage. We found some that the Polish Bishops' Council had shot that was unearthed in a, in a room in Pol at Polish television that had been sitting in cans for 30 years, but I still had to buy other stills and clips. So that adds up. And you know, you're going to have, a, so at a $2 million price point, you can have a hundred or $150,000 clip budget or more. So those are the various things. It's, it really comes down to prep and shoot days and how you pay your crew and travel and music and graphics and everything that makes your, and, uh, that makes your film more and more polished. So it's possible to be a one-man band, but it's not going to get you very far in terms of legitimizing the documentary because just the production value no no I wouldn't say that at all I would say you could make that's the great thing about these cameras and and uh, say if you buy an HDLSR and you buy a subscription to Adobe the cloud now for $49 a month now you have access to their entire editing suite their After Effects Photoshop you know Premiere Pro so you can and if you teach yourself those skills uh, you can do all of that and if you teach yourself how to run the camera, you can do that. Now, the thing that costs nothing is finding the great story. 
it's always about finding the great story. You know, you can have, what if your neighbor is this old time movie actress that has a great story to tell and she's just sitting in her house waiting for you to come over there and film her. That costs you nothing. So the story costs you, no, if you have access, and access is another thing we could talk about. That's the whole, that's the critical nature. Along with the story structure and knowing how to tell a story, it's access to your subject. Um, in that case, on the $10,000 price point, if you have a story with heart and soul that you've shot, you could have made that for $500 conceivably. If you had your camera and you never didn't buy anything and you actually learned all these skills and did it yourself, it might take you a year or two to do, but you could, that could be just as good as any documentary that cost a million dollars. It's what's the story? What's the human story? Look at Sugar Man. Now that was, that's $400,000. But he was actually, he had it, he had the nub of the, that movie for about 80, I guess, before he went and he met with the producer, of, one of the producers of Bird on, uh, Man on Wire, I think in London. And he showed him just a little bit and the guy said, this is magnificent. We have to, and he was able to, uh, to complete the funding. But the core of that film was the story. And that was just calling people up. They weren't charging you, I don't believe in that case, in most cases not. They're not charging you to tell them for, for you to tell their story. That you found their story, that's so that's gold. That's the gold that's priceless, and it doesn't matter if you're using a, a three thousand dollar camera or an uh, an Airflex Alexa. So, you know, it's always about the story and the storytelling skill, really.